Good evening. I've come down to one of my local beaches tonight to do some astro photography. And the problem with this area is there's a huge amount of light pollution here. So just behind me up there, right on the tip of the lights, you might see some very faint red lights. And they, those red lights are all the tall towers and things at Brighton. Out there, out there we've got uh, a wind farm. Every single one of those windmills has got a little red light on it. And then between Brighton and here we've got obviously Brighton, Shoreham, Littlehampton, Bognor Regis where we're at at the moment. Over there we've got Chichester and then up that way I can see the lights on the Spinnaker Tower at Portsmouth and behind that we've got the city of Southampton. And the trouble with all these cities is there's no green space in between. They're all urbanised and they all blend into one giant massive urban area really. So huge amounts of light pollution here. But we'll wander along the beach and find a subject to photograph and do some astro photography. So what I've come down to photograph tonight is a bit of an old Mulberry Harbour. Uh, part of a pontoon that keeps the road from the Mulberry Harbour to the shore afloat and obviously these things were used during D-Day so a pretty impressive bit of kit. Um, it broke away in a storm in 1943 or 44, drifted onto this beach and it's been here ever since. So the idea tonight is to catch a photograph of Orion behind this uh, old bit of Mulberry Harbour. I hope you can hear me over the waves, but what we've got is the Mulberry Harbour over there, and I've got a rock down here in the foreground, and I've got Orion rising above the Mulberry Harbour over there. So what I'm going to do is going to take a stack of nine shots, so that I can get a good noise reduction on that better image. I hope you can hear me over the waves here. Right, that's going. So I'm using a 15 second exposure, uh, ISO 6400 and we're at F4 because we're using the 24 to 50 kit lens. Because we're shooting in a relatively light polluted area, F4 is fine here and there are a few advantages to that. One of them is that in a light area the light pollution helps to fade out the least bright stars so only the brightest stars come through which could help highlight Orion above the Mulberry Harbour thingy. Right, that's a few exposures done. We'll let this crack on and do the rest of that set of nine. And we're going to do some other photographs. Um, the sound of the waves crashing on the shore here is a bit much, so I've got no idea whether you're hearing any of this. So this might be a bit of a disaster of a vlog, but we'll crack on anyway. I've decided to come up away from the beach. There's just too much noise down there with the surf crashing on the shore. That's a good thing though, because it means I'm probably go surfing tomorrow. So hopefully I'm going to put up some photographs now and there'll be a good example of what sort of photographs you can get looking from a light polluted area into a dark area. So. I've got all the light behind me or to the sides and I've got that bit of Mulberry Harbour and it's looking directly out to sea and there's no lights out there, probably the next lights are in France and they could be 30, 40, 50 miles away 
So I'm probably looking into what might be a bottle 4, possibly even a bottle 3 area. So as long as you get to the edge of your light polluted area and are looking to, into a dark area, it shouldn't stop you from getting really good astro photographs in a light polluted area, as I hope these photographs will show you. Um, I think I took about maybe five photographs down there, two or three of the Mulberry Harbour thing and a couple of other things I found floating around on the beach. So I hope you enjoyed that, thank you for watching this video, sorry it's a bit all over the place but astro landscape photography has got to be one of the hardest things you can do or record doing just because you've got the wind, the noise of the sea, um, just so many things beyond my control. So sorry if it was a bit haphazard, thank you for watching and see you again soon, bye.